In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to work with the Lattice Tool. The Lattice Tool can be really useful whenever you're working with 3D models as it gives you a different way of actually editing in a polygonal or sculpting format. If you recall in the previous courses, we were able to come in and we would go in and switch into different types of modes such as face mode. And then we would go through and you could pick certain elements and edit your objects in that manner. Well, what's nice about a lattice tool is twofold. Number one, it can act, it actually is editable, but also number two, you can either commit or you can use it to your benefit as far as animating different objects in Maya. So what you'll want to start with is you can actually start with any object. I'm going to start with the sculpted from the biped. I'm going to start with the basic head here. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is to access the lattice tool. It's actually located under animation. So you'll want to make sure that your dropdown is set to animation. From there, you're going to want to make sure that you have your object selected and you are in the object mode. From there, you're going to want to go under deform and you're going to see an option called lattice. If you click on that, you will now see in the outliner and in your workspace, you've now had two new elements added in. The base frame of the lattice, that is the container, and then the actual lattices that make up the overall tool. Now, keeping the FFD1 lattice object selected, if I come over and come into the attribute editor, I can change the number of divisions. You normally do want to take up your number of divisions simply because it'll give you a little bit more control and a little bit more finesse. Just to demonstrate here, if I come in and right click and go to lattice points and I select a few of the points here, you see how it's already affecting and how it's pulling on the object here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this up. I'm going to change the S to 5 and the U to 5. If you wanted to get a little bit more nitty gritty, you now have that capability. So to edit the lattice, you're going to right click and you want to go to lattice points to make the lattice points active. The biggest thing to remind everybody of is the lattice is a tool. This isn't an actual object in the scene. You won't be able to see it when you render. So now if I come in and select all of these lattice points, you can once again see how it affects my overall geometry here. Where I can bend and pull. Likewise, I come over and I select these lattice points. See how it actually morphs and kind of turns this into a giant mound of clay here, very similar to the sculpting. Now this is where lattices can be really beneficial. Let me go ahead here. You want to click on the object that you're currently working on. I'm going to go back to that move tool. This is probably one of the cooler elements of working with a lattice. If you leave it in your scene as is, and I begin to move my shape, you see how I'm not actually committing any changes here. This can be really cool for effects whenever you're animating, say, um, you know, water or things that need to be distorted. Likewise, you can see it from the side here. Now, if I were to delete the lattice right now, it would actually return the head to the default. What if I actually wanted to commit the lattice work here? One way that uh, you can do this, probably the easiest way, is under the edit, if you say delete, delete by type, edit, delete by type history. Notice how the lattice has now vanished. And now when I move the head around, you see how it's not changing back to its original formation. 
So the lattice tool can be used in two fashions, one for animation, that if you want to leave it in the scene, the other two can be for designing and laying out a project, and then committing the changes and then working from there.